today's Swift Zwift hacks, because hacks are all the rage. Overclocking your GPU for better performance in game. The two systems I have running behind me here are identical. They're Alienware i3s, the original Alienware Alphas, running an 860M GPU from Nvidia. Not the top of the range anymore, and then kind of struggling when it comes to big group rides, so I need to squeeze as much performance out of these as I can without updating the whole system. So covering the basics first, these are always updated with the latest graphics drivers from Nvidia, and I always switch off VSync as well. Old habits die hard. This may be redundant now, but I always switch that off so I can get maximum frame rates in the game. So with those basics covered, here's a side-by-side -side of these two systems, watching the same rider, and you can see the frame rate there in the top right. One is performing about 10 to 12% better than the other. That 10% difference may not be that evident there, but when you're in a bunch or in a jungle ride with a big group and a bit of dust is kicking up, 10% is a big difference. So the one small difference with these machines to get that extra 10% performance, I'm running MSI Afterburner and I've overclocked the video card on one of these machines. Doing this in real time here, I'll flick over and update the settings to the second machine. I use a core clock setting of plus 135 and the memory, I go up to plus 500. A 10% improvement in performance there in graphics, and that's not bad at all. A 10% improvement in FTP would be even better. Okay, it's not all smooth sailing and it's not a free lunch. So there's some catches with this. First up, possible system instability. This can cause your system to crash. Two, heat. This will cause your system to get hot. If you've noticed your fans start whirring on a hot day, or there's some heavy intense processing happening on your computer, you'll hear the fans ramp up. This will pretty much ramp the fans up all the time. Don't do this with laptops. Cooling in laptops, really not that handy. The fans are very small, they have to spin at high RPM, things can get noisy, so I wouldn't recommend this with laptops. Good ventilation is required if you're gonna overclock your GPU. These systems here are mounted on tripods and they're within the airflow area of all the fans that I have running for my indoor system, so that's good. If you have your system in a cupboard or somewhere with not a lot of airflow, overclocking probably isn't for you. So will this work on your system with your video card? Well, it depends. What I'm showing here today are the Alienware Alphas, and it does a pretty good job. And finally, why would we bother with this if it can introduce system instability, overheating, and general nastiness? Well, if it ain't broke, let's make it faster. Okay, thanks for watching today's Swift Zwift Hacks.